Lee, we wrote our very first JavaScript, and you were probably scared to death saying, what's going on? Oh my gosh, this is so much. Don't worry, we'll, uh, we'll get there. And for those of you who are like, this is easy, you know what, stop showing off, nobody cares. So, I'm just kidding, I care. Um, good job. So what we want to do is continue our journey in learning to code. And one thing though that we kind of did was we wrote inline JavaScript, which is never a good idea. Let me just tell you right now, best practice, never ever, 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 uh, write inline JavaScript like this. It's dirty, it's nasty, it's hard to debug. Uh, it's a big no-no. You don't ever want to mix um, your your view code. This is the view, the things that the user sees. You never want to mix that with the, the code that actually performs the actions. It's really dirty, uh, and it makes debugging really hard, meaning if you find a bug, like it's hard to go through and figure out where that bug's happening because it's it's all there in your HTML code, and it's really nasty. Don't do that. Okay, You may see it in programs and in, in jQuery. Sometimes people do it. Uh, but it's never a good idea. And newer frameworks like Angular 2 and React, uh, they they are actually built to not allow you to do this. So uh, it's not good practice. We were just we we're just messing around. We're just messing around. So now let's do things the right way, and that's by linking in an external script file. Okay. So what we're gonna do is instead of linking in a script here in the body, okay, we're gonna link one in the head at the top. Uh, and we could have we could also link this in the body, but it makes more sense up here. We're having the programs loading. So what we're going to do is say script type equals text JavaScript. And we're going to do something a little bit different this time. We're going to say source. All right. And uh, I put empty quotes there because we don't have the file yet. So let's do that now. So in our same folder that our HTML files in at the same exact level, we're going to create a new file. So I'm going to click new file and we're going to call this learn to code.js. I like to put dashes all lowercase uh, between uh, the words instead of camel casing um, because uh, it's easier to read and um, camel casing, you know, sometimes you can have problems w if it's case sensitive like capital R versus lowercase R. This is this is really clean and a lot of developers do this. Um, so learn to code and if you notice here in brackets it's detected already that it's a JavaScript file and that's another reason why you don't want to code here in in uh, your HTML is because when you're working with an IDE like brackets, it struggles to know the difference between HTML and JavaScript. So things don't uh, autocomplete as easy uh, as having it in its own file. So we've now linked in an external file. So what I'm going to do here, if we want to comment this whole thing out here, um, we're going to have to undo these comments here. So select, there we go. I just undid this comment here and select your script tag here from end to end and do command or control forward slash. And uh, we've now commented out the entire HTML. Let me show you one more thing, though. If I undo that, Command-Z or Control-Z, uh, we can also do the same thing with the JavaScript inside, command forward slash. And this time, it's all double comments, OK? So it commented it out. But the comments for JavaScript are actually different than comments for HTML. And remember, this is another wonky thing. When you're coding with JavaScript inside your HTML, it, it can be a problem, OK? So let's undo that here. And let's just do the whole HTML script here. Let's get it out of here and save it. So this is all commented out, which means your web browser is not even going to read this. It's going to skip right over. OK, so we've now linked the file. Um, but we need to put the source in. And so we know it's in the same directory as the um, as the index.html file. So we can just say learn to code.js, and it finds it, and it's right there. Now, it might not be in the best interest of the project to have it at the same level. So maybe we want to create a folder. So I'm going to, I'm going to create a folder here, new folder. And we're going to call this JavaScript. What I want to do is move the learn to code file into the JavaScript. So let's uh, right click, show in Finder. I'm just going to go over here real quick and drag it into JavaScript. Okay, so we've now moved it, which means that it can no longer find this file here because it's not at the same directory. So what we need to do now is go inside JavaScript slash learn to code. Okay, so I wanted to show you that so you can know that. Uh, the source is relative to where the file that's linking it is. So if index.html is the top level, we now need to go into the JavaScript folder and then find learn to code.js file. Okay, pretty cool. So now let's kind of take our code here and copy it. And uh, let's put it over here in our new code file, learn to code.js, and paste it. Okay, it's, it's kind of unaligned things here. So what I'm going to do is highlight these and type in uh, or press shift and tab to unindent it. I'm going to take off the alert. I don't want that anymore. And all I want to do is uh, 
make sure the console.log is working. Now, down here, you've got this, this JS lint. It's going to give you, like, recommendations. It says console was used before it was defined. It doesn't know what console is, okay? And that's because it's a web browser thing, and it's only, it's only going to work when the web browser actually runs and loads it. Okay, so, um, cool. This is good. So what I want to do now is make sure this is all working. Okay, so I'm going to right-click this, go to Show and Finder, and I'm just going to double-click to open it. I don't want to use the lightning bolt this time. Um, because uh, I want to be able to work with the um, the console with Google Chrome tools, and the brackets live editor doesn't work with the console. It crashes the uh, or it stops the live server. So I'm going to do Command Alt J or Control Alt J, and look at that. Hi, my name is Jack, and I am 23 years old. Learn to code.js line six. So it's definitely working. Okay, so what we've done here is we've refactored our code. We've become a better programmer by instead linking our JavaScript file into an external file. And now we can write all of our code here. It's nice and clean. It's a JavaScript file, so it can give us the proper error messaging and things like that. It's really cool. We're, we're in a much better position now. So uh, we've successfully refactored. And refactoring is when you take bad code and make it better, or code that was less good, and now you make it more good. Um, yes, uh, you'll, you'll find that out about these courses that we don't use proper English because yeah, we're programmers, as some people like to call us. We make code better by refactoring, okay? And I think it's much better now. So, you know what? Let's call this video done. Uh, we've In this video, we've learned how to uh, refactor our code uh, to link an external JavaScript file, uh, and things are looking pretty good here. We also learned about uh, comments, uh, being able to s select lines of code, and you can, of course, do that here in the HTML command forward slash or command Z to undo that or even in your code files uh, the JavaScript has the double slashes uh, and there's one more way of highlighting all this or commenting this out we could put a, a forward slash and a star and an ending star and uh, forward slash and uh, that's also a, a multi-line comment right there but it's easier just to highlight stuff and comment out like so command or control forward slash or undo it holding command Okay, so you learned a lot of things here, uh, and we'll go ahead and move on in the next video and actually talk about the variables and how they work. So that's it for now. Mark Price at DevSlopes.com. See you soon.